welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome thank you for clicking on my video if you're a oldie but a goodie thank you for coming back i'm gonna be showing you how i created this look it's like a purple smoky kind of look if you want to see how i do it then don't go anywhere just go grab a snack and come back oh i'm rhyming grab a snack come back look 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 why is it back look 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 at this somebody come look at this look at this somebody come and look at this but yeah, just come back. Don't go anywhere. Watch the video. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Send the video to your friends, you know, be like, oh, hey girl, you know, I found this girl on YouTube and she seems kind of cool or whatever. Go watch her video, subscribe to her channel, whatever. Just stay tuned if you want to see how I do this. I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. I'm using the NYX white eyeshadow base this is what it looks like it's just a white creamy kind of thing and the palette that i'm going to be using for this eye look is the morphe 35p palette this is what it looks like mostly purples it has like some browns and like some neutral colors over here but it's mostly purple, which is why it's 35P. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with is this color right here. The next color I'm gonna go in with is this really deep kind of purplish, I don't even know, burgundy wineish. I have no idea. But this is what it looks like, it's really pretty. And I'm gonna put that like right in my crease. And then I'm gonna go back in with the same brush I used first to just kind of blend the edges of this deep purple with the first kind of transition color. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the black shade that's in the palette. And I'm gonna put that like in my crease but not all the way like half of my lid or so now we're gonna blend it out and I'm gonna be going in with the same brush the first brush not putting any more eyeshadow on it just using what's on it now I'm gonna take the same transition color the one I use first not a lot on a brush just to soften up the black a bit I'm gonna be using the Maybelline fit me concealer in the color 35 deep to cut my crease So on my lid, I'm gonna put this kind of goldish kind of pigment. So whenever you do a cut crease and you have like a color at the end here and you put a different color here, they're gonna stop and just be like, it's, it's gonna be sharp. Like you're gonna have sharp edges from one of the colors or two of the colors so you always need to blend it up so like on this eye it doesn't look as harsh as this eye where you can actually see that oh the gold stopped right there you get what i'm saying like on this eye it's like diffused into the black and the black is diffused into the gold yeah you need to blend them out first i'm gonna put a little bit more black on the edges right here then i'm gonna go in with the same color I use as my transition color. So it looks better right now, it's not as sharp anymore, it's like a bit diffused into each other. So now the liner that I'm gonna use is from NYX 
this is what it looks like the NYX white liquid liner mascara <laughs> the mascara the foundation that I'm gonna be using is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and I'm in the color Coconut which is 355 I haven't used this foundation in a while foundation is undone in okay, so now that I've applied my foundation I'm gonna go in with a little wedge just to go over and kind of take up the excess foundation I have on my face and it's also gonna smooth it out a bit more So for my concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm in the color Deep. I think this concealer smells so good. Like every time I put it on, I'm just like, wow. Like how does makeup smell so good? I don't even know. I'm going to take a concealer brush and get some concealer on it just to clean up. For my setting powder, I'm going to be using the Sasha Buttercup, as usual. Oh, by the way guys, I'm like struggling to find a new series to watch, like Vampire Diaries and Pretty Little Liars. They are like maybe the best chick flick TV shows ever made in history. Like, I don't know, it's and they're finished, they're cancelled, and I'm just, I've been depressed ever since. Like, well, yeah, Desperate Housewives was good too, Gossip Girl was good too, but they're all finished, and it's like, I'm struggling to find something as good, like, nothing compares. The only thing that's still going on that I still love and I've been watching for years is Grey's Anatomy. But I want something with a little bit more drama, you know, like, I don't know, so if you guys know any good suggestions leave them in the description leave them down below in the comments so i can read and try watch something because you know christmas break coming up soon like what am i gonna do when i'm at home every day i'm gonna need something to watch and i want to get hooked on something amazing so it's like i'm watching tv shows now just to kill time sometimes like if i'm bored or if, you know just relaxing i'll just TV shows I'm watching, I just watch them just to kill time. I'm not watching them because I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. It's just like, let me just put my eyes on something. So yeah, just leave suggestions down below of nice TV shows. Along that same kind of line, you know, like that same genre, like chick flick kind of thing. Don't leave no suits and no how to get away with murder and no please, no thank you. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to see that. I'm not trying to get away with no murder. And I'm not trying to be a lawyer. I tried watching those, but I'm like, no, you, I don't like this. <sighs> to contour my face, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Powder, and I'm in the color Coco. And for my lower lash line, I'm going to use this deep purple color right here. For my lips, I just lined it using just a regular brown liner. And I'm gonna be using the MAC lipstick. It's called Viva Glam 2, and it's just 
and a nudish color. Then on top of this, I'm gonna put this gloss from Milani. It's called Nude Shimmer. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight in the color Molten Gold. 